Welcome back to KTN Prime. Thank you for staying with us. Now, police in Kakamega have launched a manhunt for a man who allegedly repeatedly defiled a 12-year-old paralyzed girl. The man who has been the girl's neighbor allegedly went into hiding when the girl's grandmother discovered what was going on. KTN's Dorcas Wangira, Wangira has that report. Omolema is a Luya word that loosely translates to the one who cannot walk. And such is the fate of this 12-year-old girl who lives in this humble hut in a Sishendo village in Bukura. Her grandmother tells us that two months after her birth, she had too much fluid in her head and a subsequent growth in her back. She would never walk, something that made her father leave her and her mother. She also lives here with a younger sister who has to be picked from school. But a neighbor, Omulema says, one well known to her as Vini, would allegedly take advantage of her when she was left alone. The minor recounts how she screamed, and he in turn threatened to kill her if she dared to tell anyone. Because of her paralysis, she could not feel the pain waist down. Her grandmother found traces of blood in her clothes, and that's when she knew something was wrong. A medical report done much later would confirm that she had been defiled. <laughs> akapitia huko nyuma ya dirisha akaanza kuvuruta gunia akakuja hivi akaingia kwa nyumba akaanza kunilalia sasa kujua hivyo nikaenda nyumbani kwa nikatamfuta sikumpata sasa pia nilipata kwa kucha hapa naye na watu wawili kwanza kumuuliza akakataa nikasema na sasa mimi napeleka mtoto wa daktari sasa akaweka makoti chini akaniambia unisemee chifu akaniambia hii maneno inamshinda niende wapi niende polisi Chisendo village in Bukura is a small hamlet looking at the houses you'd expect a close neat communal responsibility but this is a disturbing strand in this narrative that after the incident the neighbors told her that she made a mistake in reporting this matter to the police and to the chief that they wanted to deal with it themselves while well, it's almost a month and no justice has been served the accused, according to the administration, is a well-known offender. He is still at large. Police say they are pursuing him, but the local community is allegedly shielding him from justice. A lead suggests that he is in Kitale. The assistant chief says Nyumbakumi will work here, but for the victim, it hasn't. He will be found because this is his homeland. He cannot go anywhere. He's yet to, even he's yet to get an ID, so he must come back. Mm. Is this somebody you know? I know him. Mm. Mm. And people speak in hushed tones about another incident in Imulolo village not too far away. It begs the question, how many more have gone unreported? There are vulnerable children who walk, oblivious of the predators within. Justice for Umlema could reverse the tide. If before her there were many, after her there may be none. Dorka Swangira, KTN News, Bukura, Kakamega.